Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do a mini sort of tutorial here. Um, to make a long story short, I have been digitizing some old VHS tapes, uh, including these small VHS-C tapes. And uh, some of them were broken, and um, I had to like splice the tapes back together, which is an easy process. Uh, maybe the next one I'll do um, a small tutorial on that. But um, for the time being, I would like to show you all, because uh, I couldn't really find anything... Well, I mean, there are some tutorials out there, but I just wanted to do a quick one to show the, the things that I found the most important while doing this. So, you know, you get um, a tape. Let me see if I have another one right here. So you get these tapes, and, uh, you know, you got to unscrew the back, and that's obviously screws on the back. I'm sorry, I have terrible lighting in, in where I am, and it's also 1.30 in the morning. I don't really care. But anyway, you unscrew the screws, okay? And then this is a very important step. It's all these little parts, none of them are secure to the tape. They will all fall out if you take it apart the wrong way. So you have to turn it over, okay? And you have to take this side off. This is the side that you have to take off, okay? So, you know, lay it down on its back. And then you might have to pry it. And I, I, I have a little tool uh, uh, pouch that I got for electronics and, and this is the tool that I use there's a couple others in there you could use our pair of tweezers or whatever else you might have but also I just wanted to show you how kind of everything goes together because I got this one out perfectly actually and uh, as you can see there this side has the more sharp teeth okay and these ones have a little bit of dull teeth and I don't know what any of this is called so I'm sorry in advance but uh, that's how they go together, okay? If uh, This is for if you ever lose these parts, if they ever fly out, because it actually happened to me a couple times already, and it was very frustrating. Okay, so this, you know, to explain it, uh, to the best of my knowledge here, this piece is meant to keep this wheel from turning the wrong direction while the video is playing. Okay, I'm not really entirely sure what that does. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out if I looked at it long enough, but that's how it goes. There's a, a spring right there. You know, it goes... Well, that's how it goes. And then there's also a spring there, and that's how that goes, too. Um, it should be pretty obvious if you're doing this and looking for a, a tutorial and, and watching at the same time. But then this is... Uh, these, there's these little, like white tubes, plastic tubes that go over some little, uh, uh, I guess, uh, poles or rods or whatever um, that are actually attached to the back of the tape. And these white plastic things go over the, kind of to protect the, um, the tape as it goes by because this is the, the surface that's going to be read by the VCR over here. And then this side has three of them. One's metal, two are plastic. Okay, and uh, it's hard to see it, I'm sorry, because I've never actually done this before, but it goes, uh, I've never done a tutorial before, but it goes in this way, and in between these metal parts, in between this white plastic one and that metal one, and then in between that metal one and this plastic one, and around. And I, like I said earlier, I already spliced this one uh, basically, you just take a piece of scotch tape, and, and I already wound it, but um, you take a piece of scotch tape, cut off like the bad parts of the tape, and then uh, literally scotch tape it together, and that's it. But um, there's also these, um, they're hard to see, uh, but there's these little plastic tabs kind of things that goes uh, in between the tape and, the, and these little white plastic things. I think that's just to protect the tape from the, the sharp plastic edges. Anyway, that's uh that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you. And, uh, yep. Okay. Thanks. Bye.